This was the most popular song in the 1890s and is also the worst song in the entire 24 hour concert of history of popular music. <laughs> and hey, fantastic, you know, they, they know something that I don't know, right? And uh, that's, my, that's our job as a human species is to try to figure out what that thing is. What's that thing? What's that thing? It can't just be marketing, you know? Maybe it is though. I think as a theater artist, it's my job to try to figure out what my audience needs to be a student of humanity um, and not necessarily give them what they want, but give them what they need. Will it be a tragedy or a comedy? We never know. Will we fall in love as a community with something that is actually special and wonderful and well-crafted or will it just be a piece of poo? People say that's presumptuous, but you never say it's presumptuous for a, a plumber to, you know, if a plumber tells me uh, my sink needs this, uh, I don't say, well, that's presumptuous of you to know what the sink needs. You know, but he's a student of plumbing and I'm, I'm hopefully a student of humanity. A little maiden climbed an old man's knee, begged for a story, do uncle please. The project that I'm doing right now, it's called The 24-Hour Concert of the History of Popular Music. And it is the history of popular music in the United States of America from the 1770s to the present decade. And I'm going to do an hour for every decade. They didn't call it the gay 90s for nothing, right? I have all these different offshoot performances as a result of this giant show. There's going to be a 20th century concert that's 10 hours long, a 19th century concert that's 10 hours long. I had a sweetheart. And then we're also creating themed concerts. So the project I'm doing in Chicago is political songs um, throughout the last 24 decades. Uh, songs that were popular in America, not necessarily American music, but songs that were popular here. List to this story, I'll tell it all. One of the things that I like to do in these concerts is um, honor the thing by actually singing what it is and, and, and trying to figure out why, why did the people really sing this song and why did they actually sing it this way and care about it and honor that, those choices. And then to deconstruct them all and say, well, okay, how is this applying to our lives now? And then find a new way of doing it um, that helps us kind of dream the culture forward. So we, you know, we honor the past by acknowledging it, we honor the present by acknowledging it, and then we take all that information and we dream the culture forward with it. Break of morn After the dance has leave.